Students then put 150 milliliters of water into a beaker. Cut out an index card so two test tubes fit with the card holding them in place. We have taped it to the beaker to ensure it stays. Invert one test tube in the water, making sure the open end is on the bottom. We then place a damp piece of steel wool in the test tube, and then invert it as well in the beaker. Steel wool is made of iron and carbon, but for the purpose of this experiment, we are going to treat it as if it's made of pure iron. It has been dipped in vinegar to remove any dirt and protective coating for the experiment. In your data table, record the height of the water in the test tubes. While watching, you should notice that the water is rising up the tube and the steel wool is starting to turn brown or orange. The reason the water level is rising is because the iron is reacting with the oxygen in the air, causing the water to rise and taking place of the oxygen that was previously occupying that space. We can conclude that a chemical reaction has taken place. We used two test tubes in this experiment because the empty tube was a control. We use this to see how the water level should be without the reaction taking place. The two elements that combined were oxygen and iron. Oxygen and iron were the reactants because they were what combined at the start of the chemical reaction. Rust or iron oxide was what was present at the end of the reaction. A good name for the new substance was iron oxide. If I were to write a word equation, this would be iron plus oxygen yields iron oxide. This is an example of a synthesis reaction because two elements are combining to form a single compound.